Hello, folks. What up, Covington County? Welcome to What's Up, Covington County with Brother John and Cousin Jared and Son Daniel and our nephew, Bobby. Bobby Phillips from Phillips Pest Control. We like to think of our audience as uh, one big happy family, and we like to think of him as part of our family. He's uh, one of our good friends and an advertiser. And I want to introduce you to him because you've, some of you have seen him, and I bet a lot of you know him. Uh, again, I said his name is Bobby Phillips. He's with Fifth Phillips Pest Control. They're located over there at 907 Highway 84 East in Op, Alabama. And uh, if you've got a pest, well, I want to limit that. There's probably some pests that they don't want to kill, you know, like ex-wives or ex-husbands. Yeah, or we're something. not going to fool you know, with but, but But if it's not an ex-wife or an ex-husband or a neighbor that uh, you don't like, uh, and it is a rat or a mouse or a, uh, some kind of a nasty insect or a bed bug or a flea or a, a palmetto bug or any of that kind of stuff that's making your life miserable and uh, kind of makes it weird when you get up in the middle of the night and walk to the bathroom and you see all these creepy crawlies. This is the man to solve the problem. That's right. We can and I'll tell you some other stuff about him. He can build a house, but he ain't going to do that either. Uh, but he is also, and I know this is he can build a house because he's a certified home inspector. That's right. I mean, this guy, there's so much he can do, it's kind of strange and wonderful all at the same time. So tell us, it's you and your dad, and who else over there? Uh, right now we have me and my dad, uh, Patrick, um, Matt, Ty, and we've just, uh, I've just hired a, a new fellow within the past couple of days um, named Dustin. So we're we're growing, we're getting there. Man, I'd like to be selling uh, you just your truck insurance. <laughs> yeah. Well, it, it, we had to have plenty of it. Yeah, I know. Um, but uh, we, we're getting a lot of business, and I appreciate all the response that we, we're getting from the community <coughs> and, and all of our good customers, and and we're we're continuing to grow and want to continue to grow. Well, like, you know, you grow because you're good at what you do. Right. Well, yeah. we, we try. And, you know, if people have a problem and, and, and something's going on, they call us, somebody's going to get out there. They're not going to get to run around and and never get a call back and nobody ever show up. If they've got a problem, we're gonna get out there. Well, I tell you what, they're, uh, this is how involved they are, folks. Not only do they have a telephone number you can reach them at, 334-493-6199. If you live in Andalusia or Off or Sanford or something like that, you don't have to dial 334, you just have to dial 493-6199. Won't cost you a dime more, but if you're out of that service area and you won't, I mean, some really fine pest control, you can dial them toll free at 877-544-2847. Now, we'll have this information on our Facebook page, and you'll see it on YouTube as well, But and we'll repeat it later in the commercial. But uh, these are fine folks. How, how many years of experience do you think y'all have got over there? I mean, you take your dad and you, that's 128 years. <laughs> that's right. You know. Well over 100 years. Yeah, well over combined. 100 years experience combined uh, uh, over there. And I mean, these are not rookies. Uh, they're not gonna come by with, uh, uh, you know, something they picked up at Wally World and spray in the corners and tell you it's done. They're gonna, I guess y'all are gonna come in and look around and see what the problem is and we try come to up with a treatment plan instead of just doing something like that. Right, we try to determine what's going on, uh, you know, what the problem is before anything's done. Well, i tell you what, that's interesting. Uh, apparently my phone declines not working. I'll have to get up with that person later. I'm a professional. This stuff never happens to me. <laughs> uh, but anyway, uh, they'll remember the commercial because of that. Y'all will develop a, a treatment plan for whatever's going on there, I assume. What right now is... Uh, I guess the biggest problem that y'all are seeing showing up at houses. Uh, well, the biggest surprise I would say to most people is bed bugs, and they don't discriminate. Anybody can get them. Uh, I don't care how clean your house is. You clean your house three times a day, every day. 
and if you pick a bed bug up at a hotel or motel or or whatever and bring it home with you, you're going to have a case of bed bugs. Yeah, and it's it, it's probably not something that your kid's going to get at the neighbor's house and bring in. It'll be something that you'll pick up it, somewhere like a hotel or a motel. That, right, uh, but and they, they don't have to be. They don't have to be bad hotels and motels to have oh, no, 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 bed no. bugs anymore. No, no, I any of them. Yeah. Uh, I would say most hotels in the country have had problems yeah. with them. Yeah, so that's what I've read. Mm -hmm. uh, although I'm sure you can get it from the kid who went down to the beach and uh, stayed at a hotel that had them and brought them back in a, you know, something. And Used furniture, uh, you know, same with water bugs or German roaches. You take a chance when you bring something in your house that's right. used. Yeah, the uh, 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 they're not easy to kill either. No, they're not. Uh, well, the I would say they're not that difficult to kill. It's just the thoroughness with which you have to do the treatment. Um, it's basically, I always say it's about like you're having to move out of your, pack up and move out of your house. Then we do the treatment, then you move back in. It just, it has to be thorough, it has to be done correctly, or it's not going to be effective and, and you're going to be doing it all over again. Now folks, I'll mention this as a tease to you because we're going to have to take a break in just a second. But if you think you got bed bugs, call Bobby at 493-6199 or 877-544-2847 and he'll talk to you and try to walk you through it. If you've got a good camera and you can take a picture of it and you can send it to him over the internet, he can, uh, well, he make, can a positive make a idea. positive ID of it out that without ever having to leave the office. I've seen him do that. Uh, but one of the things that uh, I can, I hope I'm not screwing up what I'm telling you, but if you think you got bed bugs or uh, uh, water bugs or German roaches or Chinese roaches or whatever you got, uh, and you call Bobby at that number and tell him that you got the idea to call him from this show, he's gonna give you a discount on your treatment. Isn't that right? No, oh, yeah. So, uh, see it pays to watch WKNI. That's right. Ken. We're going to take a little break right now. We'll be back in just a minute. Welcome back to What's Up, Andalusia? What's up, Pop? What's up, Covenant County? Uh, I know that's kind of ridiculous to see a 68-year-old white man trying to do a Budweiser commercial, but <laughs> there's a reason for everything, and I don't have time to explain why we do that, but we do that, folks. Welcome back to What's Up, Covenant County. Uh, and I've got with me uh, Bobby Phillips from Phillips Pest Control over and up. Uh, we were talking about bed bugs and how to get rid of them. And uh, I want to tell you something about Bobby. They, they're right on the edge of, I think, leading the edge of technology in a lot of ways. And one of the things that they do is, if you want to go, if you want to see what they do, the kind of the work they do, and that kind of stuff, you can go to Phillips Pest Control, look for them on Facebook. Phillips, that's with a P-H, not a F, Phillips Pest Control, on Facebook, or you can go to uh, their website, which is Phillips, P-H-I-L-L-I-P-S, Pest, P-E-S-T, Control, C-O-N-T-R-O-L, that's all runs together, doesn't it? All run, one, dot one. net, Phillips Pest Control dot net, and you'll see some of what they're talking about, but one of the things that you're going to see on there you're going to join almost a million people that have been to that website and seen what? Uh, the video of the yellow jacket nest that I treated last week. Uh, at last time I looked at it, it had well over 700,000 views. Yeah. Um, and that was a, it was a big one. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> now that, 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 we can say, you can say that you've, if you use Bobby or his daddy or the whole crew from Phillips Pest Control to treat your insect problem, you can say that you now have been serviced by an internationally famous pest controller. I don't know if I'd go that far, but it's getting close. Yeah, it's pretty close. <laughs> well, over 700,000 people have viewed what you got. That's... I've had people from the Netherlands and, and all over comment on yeah. it. And, uh, so. 
it's, it's, it's went pretty far. Yeah. Well, that's, that's amazing. Uh, you know, uh, but I'm proud of you for getting that and taking advantage of it and giving yourself some good publicity. We were talking about bed bugs, and they are a, a, a big problem, but they're not the only problem we've got around here. I know uh, this particular time of year, and it just seems like fleas always get to be a problem if you've got more than one pet. Fleas, uh, and fleas are one of the hardest, hard to kill, as we were talking about. Yeah. Fleas are one of the hardest things to get rid of if they reach the, the uh, infestation reaches a certain size. Um, about one percent of what's getting on you is an adult flea, and the rest is in the pupa, the egg, the larva mm -hmm. stage. You can't penetrate the pupa, so you just got to wait till it grows out and hit it again. Wait till it wait till it hatches out. And therefore, a lot of times with a with a bad infestation, it may take four to five trips treatments. Um, but every time you're killing. The adult fleas, mm -hmm. you're killing part of the population. You just have to keep going through the cycle until you finally reach that last hatching. Well, how does that work when you've got a contract for something like that, Bobby, and you have to go back five times? How does that work economically? I mean, well, generally, um, the first treatment is going to be the most expensive. Right. Um, and the follow-up treatments, you can generally narrow down the areas, the problem mm -hmm. areas. It's going to take less time. It's going to take less chemical. Therefore, it's, it's going to cost less. Right. But we, we have to charge every time we yeah. go out because we're paying a man to go out there mm -hmm. and we're paying for chemicals. Chemicals and a vehicle mm -hmm. and gas and everything else right. like that. And, and it's my observation uh, that... Uh, you're not going to be able to kill them unless you're extremely meticulous with over-the-counter stuff. Well, the the biggest problem with people trying to do it with over-the-counter stuff and do it theirself is that they're not putting out enough quantity. That's what I meant about mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, they're 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 out there trying to do it with a uh, a one-gallon pump-up sprayer outside, or or even a a, a fifteen-gallon sprayer. Uh, with a small wand, you're just not able to get out the quantity that needs to be out there to get down in the dirt to do uh, the job. you got to have a lot of water as a carrier for your... Oh, I mean, yeah. you really have to almost soak that yeah, area of, to get them. Uh, uh, our smallest tank is 50 gallons. Right. Mm -hmm. When you go out on something like that, Bobby, uh, the fleas are inside are usually the ones that are bothering them, but I noticed with, with my dog, uh, for instance, that they bring them in from outside. They don't. Right. We don't seem to have a lot of them inside. And the dog goes out to do its business or play or whatever, and then he comes back, and you know, you look next thing you know, he's got four team on on his head or something mm -hmm. like that. And uh, so you really, you you know, when you're talking about treating fleas, I guess you're really not just talking about treating somebody's living room. Right. Well, you need to treat the inside, the outside, and most importantly, keep the animal treated. Yeah. Uh, it, if you keep the animal on a good treatment plan, nine times out of ten you won't have flea problems. Mm -hmm. um, nothing, there's nothing under the sun that's 100 percent with flea. Right. Uh, if you have an animal, they're going to pick up a flea. Um, but a good treatment plan, and in my opinion, the pills that you can put them on uh, work better than anything. You know. Most of the time, you're going you're going to head off a problem, mm -hmm. a bad problem, before it ever occurs. Right. Well, folks, we need to take another break right now. We're going to sell a little advertising. We'll be back with Bobby Phillips from Phillips Best Control. Folks, welcome back to What's Up, Covenant County. Today, we've got with us as a special guest, Mr. Bobby Phillips from over at Op, Alabama. He's got a business over there called Phillips Pest Control. But they do a lot more than just pest control. We're going to talk about some of the stuff you can do in a house. And I think we'd like to start with uh, with termites and then how you can get into the home inspection, how you've gotten into the home inspection business. Uh, I'm not saying you got in there because of termites, but it's sure doggone and natural. Well, uh, uh, I was in, I've been in this business going under homes and inspecting homes for almost 20 years. Right. 
um, it just seemed kind of natural move to. He started when he was eight, folks. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it, it seemed natural to, to move on to where I could inspect the entire home for people. Um, you know, prior to starting our business, I spent several years in the home building industry and built homes with several builders around Op and, and um, we built homes at Seaside Beach in Florida and Navarre and so I, I've been around that, that, that type of right. industry my whole life so I just thought it was natural to get to where I could inspect mm -hmm. the, the Well you know what a cripple is. Oh yeah. yeah it's not somebody that's on, that's <laughs> on a crutch when you're building a cripple stud. That's right. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's uh, that gives you an awful lot of uh, uh, of good experience. Now you are a certified certified. Uh, who are you certified through? Uh, well, I'm certified by the state of Alabama. State of Alabama. Uh, I'm a, I belong to the InterNACHI Association of Home Inspectors, um, but I had to, of course, take a lot of study materials and classes, online stuff from InterNACHI to qualify to be able to take the state exam and then I had to take and pass two state exams right. as well. Um, and then you have to have a certain amount of insurance. And there's, it's not that easy but... And it's not cheap to get in if you get it right. And it's not cheap but, but uh, you know I already had a lot of things in place being in the business that we're in. Um, so, you know, I just want to be able to better serve my customers, and then I can. So, uh, just give a, you know, a, a, a theoretical situation. If somebody was either wanting to buy a house or sell a house, and they were worried about, uh, and it doesn't have to be just termites, they were worried about the roof or the electrical system or something like that, uh, they could call you and contact you. They could even go to, the, I guess, the website. Right, they could go to the website. You, oh. and, uh, and that website is phillipspestcontrol.net, P-H-I-L-L-I-P-S-P-E-S-T, control, C-O-N-T-R-O-L.net, and contact Bobby. And he can come and do a, a, a home inspection for you for a small nominal fee. Uh, and let me tell you, that fee is small if you, if you buy a house and it's got uh, a bunch Absolutely. of knob and tube wiring that somebody missed or yeah, disguised or something like that. Uh, uh, you know, that's, that's a, I haven't been there and done that, but I have friends that have been there and had that experience and then gotten into a new house that had been remodeled and tore Ever. out the wall and then holy cow, they got to spend another twelve, fifteen thousand dollars $15,000 to mm. rewire the entire house. Yeah, a, a lot of problems can be caught before you ever get to that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, so a, a home inspection is a, a pretty good idea. Uh, not just because I'm saying it either, it just makes good sense. I guess uh, also along with the home inspection, I don't know if this is as big as it used to be, Bobby, but uh, bonded termite inspe inspection and that kind of stuff. Uh, mm -hmm. Folks, if you ain't got termites, you're going to get them in this part of the world. That's right, if, uh, if you don't keep your home protected. Yeah. Uh, and uh, I mean, I know that. My dad was a home builder and uh, and and I, I'll never forget. We bought a home in Mariana, Florida, and we were so poor we couldn't pay attention. And for Mother's Day, I got my wife a, a, a side door to the house. Old door was just rotten and everything. And uh, on Mother's Day, or well, the sa Sunday before, I pulled the door out, and I had 15 feet of termited walls in one direction, and 20 in the other, and mm. 12 feet into the kitchen. Mm. We'd had a leak under the sink, and 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 they had, you know they follow water apparently, right. and 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 they had we never knew it. it. It was in the house before we ever bought it. We didn't get an inspection. Oh, okay. And uh, all of a sudden that bargain we had wasn't was such a bargain. A bargain, yeah. Yeah. So I uh, take it from a guy that's lived the the dream, and it was a nightmare. Uh, fortunately, I was skilled enough that I could fix it myself. But you know. My wife didn't walk around like walking around into that kitchen with that 12 foot hole in the floor for two weeks either. Been a lot easier to just have it treated to Wouldn't begin it with have been. and head that off before it happened. Wouldn't it have been? 
So, I mean, I guess you see that from time to time. Oh, too, I, I, I've seen many, many of them that, that I was nervous about crawling under, mm -hmm. afraid that it, it might fall on me. Wow. <laughs> well, that's a, I, I, you know, that's a, a, a terrible pest to have. What kind of system do y'all use to uh, get rid of those? Well, we use a fipronil based chemical. Uh, we don't use a baiting system. I personally don't trust a baiting system as much. Um, a baiting system requires regular maintenance. Um, and when we put down this fipronil chemical barrier around your home, it's get, that chemical is guaranteed for 10 years. Wow. So we do come back, we, we're, we'll put you on a, uh, what we call a 10 year contract. contract. Uh, we come back once a year, small fee every year, mm -hmm. re-inspect the home. Uh, but that's something you don't have to keep. That's just, you know, we do offer it, but you don't have to keep it if you don't want it. But with a baiting system, if you don't keep it up, regularly the effectiveness is gone well, well what about you know what happens to your bond if you've kept it up i mean what does that mean to a homeowner uh if they if you for whatever reasons it didn't work and maybe not your pimp, pimpernel system but someone that was using you know traps and bait uh what would their bond do for them uh, uh well Actually, we've only had two to three cases in 20 years to where we've had termites actually get back in a home. Uh, and in, that, in those cases, I went out there, repaired the damage out of my pocket, and yeah. either did the work myself and fixed it, um, or paid somebody else to do it. And but re, that's what the bond is, is right, for. And retreated, and retreated the home as well. Yeah. It didn't cost them a dime. Mm -hmm. so, well, I mean, that, that just seems to me like, uh, you know, unless your house is made out of concrete block and steel, that just seems to me like something you ought to have in your house. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, uh, it doesn't matter if it's on a slab, if it's a block home. You know, if you've got wood paneling in there, if you've got wood rafters up in the ceiling, I've seen them go up through block walls all the way to the rafters and mm -hmm. eat the rafters up. I've seen that done, too. Mm -hmm. Uncomfortable, but they're, uh, they're pretty terrible. Uh, pretty terrible in the first, you know, in our area, it's just like in the homeland for for termites. Oh, I mean, yeah. I guess yeah, the only they place, have. they've got them in, in China that are pretty voracious eaters, and then those they've got in Africa, or, you know, that build the big mounds and all are pretty terrible, but our own variety is just bad enough. Bad enough. Yeah. <laughs> Folks, we're going to take a break. We'll be back in just a minute, and we're going to talk about something else that he can do for you. Welcome back to What's Up Andalusia. What's up, Op? What's up, Covenant County? Brother John here with the rest of the crew and our new, our new uh, cousin over here, nephew, uncle, whatever we want to call whatever him. I feel call. like he's family. Just I call do. him in time for supper. Let's yeah, just call him in time <laughs> for supper. Uh, Bobby, Bobby Phillips from Phillips Pest Control over in Op, Alabama. If you've got a bug that's bugging you, he's the man to make it go away. Uh, over 100 years experience in the business, not just him. I mean, there's more than just him. Uh, and and uh, they're up on the latest techniques. Uh, and we've got insect problems. I noticed one thing when I studied integrated pest management at Auburn is that insects are kind of like the flu. Uh, they're going to come around every year and they're going to be a little bit different. They will have found a way to be resistant to something that uh you know that they They'll adapt. that would kill them to, uh, three or four or five years earlier so you have to really stay on top of i guess it's continuing education for you because i it mean is. things change it is we, we try to stay up on top of, of new uh chemistries and new techniques and we have uh we generally have at least two uh, association meetings per year uh and at those meetings we have different speakers that inform us on new things going on in the industry and and uh, like I said it's, it's ever evolving the insects will become resistant to certain things so we we just have to stay on top of our game well you know I, I, I would think you'd have to one thing that that uh, that 
I think of, and it's an outdoor insect, but they cause an awful lot of damage and pain and that kind of stuff in our area, and that's fire ants. I mean, uh, we have uh, them in our yards, we have them in our pastures. Uh, I have seen children that have gotten out into fire ant beds and, uh, you know, didn't realize what they were into, little, little kids generally, mm -hmm. and just been, you know, eaten up alive and been a lot of pain and that kind of stuff. Uh, do y'all uh, work to eradicate Absolutely. fire ant problems in people's uh, yards? Absolutely. Uh, what I recommend is a bait, uh, broadcast bait treatment on the yard. Um, you're going to see a 90 to 95 percent reduction in the population within one to two days. Uh, they, it, it really works well. Uh, and generally, if you will get on a, get us to start baiting your property, and you have it baited once in the spring, once in the fall, you'll have very few problems with right. with fire ants. Well, I, I I just think they're a terrible problem, uh, and because I've seen what. Uh, what they've they've done to children, and y'all can control that for somebody. Uh, sure. You know, do y'all ever? Do, are there any chemicals that y'all sell to the public that maybe not for fire ants, but for yard um, treatment or something like that? I know they've got to be careful if they handle them. Right. Uh, we will sell uh, some. We do have some granules that we'll we will sell. Um, we're really not set up for a retail type. Yeah type establishment, but uh, most especially to our established customers, they'll, right. they'll come in and buy some bags of granules to have in between our visits. Well, I would think though that if you did, you know, there'd be a, you'd spend some time telling them about, you know, how you, know, how you need to wear gloves and if you've right. got a fertilizer spreader, you need to use that. You don't need to take your hand and just spread it out like that. And right, and, and, and you know, anything cautious. like that, the label is the law, so, yeah. you know, whether you buy it from me or, or buy it from Walmart, you need to read the label and you need to follow the label. Yeah. There's that old LD50. I don't even know if y'all use that anymore. Uh, well, I know what you're talking yeah. about. You're right. Your lethal dose. Yeah. Um, but yeah, everything is generally spelled out on that label and it, it's there for a reason. Well, now, tell me, you know, we've talked about a lot of things, but most of the stuff we've talked about has got eight legs, or six legs. But there's some four-legged varmints out there that you folks have to deal with every once in a while. I think especially in the, the food handling business or something like that, right. uh, uh, or around farm operations, uh, grain elevators, or grain bins, or even your house. Uh, this summer, the rodents have been awful. Uh, and, and you generally think of a mouse as coming in during the winter. Yeah. Uh, they, they've been awful everywhere this summer. Really? Sure have. Wow. Uh, Watch out for rats. They're not just Mickey anymore. Uh, and then, of course, you've got uh, you got mice, which is, I guess, what you're talking about mice. mostly. Mm -hmm. But you know, you've got what North Norway rats and roof rats, and and those things that get big enough, they take on a motorcycle game. Yeah, you get pretty big. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, I guess y'all have a solution to send them off to rat right. heaven too. Yeah, we we can get them. Yeah. Uh, and, and it all boils down to there, there again, coming in and figuring out what's going on, coming up with a, a treatment plan uh, beforehand. Well, now, this is kind of probably going to sound stupid, but, you know, it's never bothered me to be stupid looking before. Uh, but, you know, what if you think you got rats or mice and, and you can't see them? What do they need to look for, Bobby? Well, your droppings are going to be your main uh, indicator of, of what you have. Uh, uh, folks, it, droppings is a nice word for where the mouse craps and leaves his little crap pills around your kitchen and your bathroom, your house, or anything like that. And keep in mind, a mouse never stops. They never stop peeing either. They never they? stop peeing. I was trying to find out how to figure out how to put it, but yeah, they're everywhere they go. They're, they're, going, they're constantly, mm -hmm. you know, uh, dripping. Oh, I, I just know that we. Years ago, when I worked in the peanut business, you could take a light, a black light, a black light, and you could, and it would scare the mess out of you to realize how many mice you had or something like that when you when you did that, and it'd just be all over the place, you know. Uh, fortunately, the peanuts were generally in hulls, and, right. uh, but uh, 
uh, that's that's a real problem of course in these these big rats that'll eat a little dog or just about uh, are, are a big problem too and they will burrow under your house they'll weaken your foundation uh, they can cause some getting your roof and cause mm -hmm. some problems have you ever uh, gone into a roof uh, thinking that you were going up there for a rat and found a raccoon you know, I can't say I, as I have, but I have run up on a possum under a house. So <laughs> I got my own story about that. Yes, they will. And they love to get under a tub uh, where it gets warm. When the tub gets full, they'll get up there and they'll nestle under, uh, uh, you know, that, that warm time. old tub. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know because I found one when we moved the tub out of my house. Yeah, Didn't know what it was. Uh, Snakes. Snakes. We run up on them quite often. And nine times out of ten, if someone calls me about a snake in the house, I'm going to look for a mice problem. Yeah. That snake is there for a reason. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they they're just out looking for groceries. And if the groceries are in your house, the snake's going to be there too. That, that, I, just, I knew that, and I just wanted that to be uh, something that people were familiar with. Folks, I'm going to kind of try to wrap up what we've all talked about here. This is Bobby Phillips. He's with Phillips Pest Control in Op, Alabama. They've got over a hundred years of experience. Uh, we've talked today about bed bugs, fleas, water bugs, mice, how to get rid of them, termites, how to protect your house against termites and termite damage, uh, and how a termite bond works and how they take care of you uh, if you've got under their termite bond. Uh, we've talked about if you see snakes in your house, you probably got mice in your house. Uh, things like that that are little signs, rat pills, uh, droppings as you call them. Uh, things to look out for when you, you know, and roaches, if you've got a big infestation of roaches, they make these little bitty old Black little, pills. Little droppings. Yeah, I mean, they're real little. They look kind of like uh, the point of a pencil that's been cut mm -hmm. off or something like that. And if they're bad, you, they have a distinctive odor. And you yeah, walk they in do. The house and you you smell it. Uh, and, and finding uh, possums under tubs and that kind of stuff. Phillips Pest Control can solve all your problems. And here's another problem they can solve. We talked about it. They can inspect your house to make sure that you're not buying a bad piece of property when you buy that piece of property. Uh, they can give you insurance that certifies what they find, is that correct? Uh, well, we, it is. Or they can buy insurance or something like that that maybe I'm getting in too deep. Yeah, <laughs> about the insurance. Uh, but now, now I am insured, Yeah. Uh, an insured home inspector. Um, and That's what I meant. Right, and um, it will, you know, whereas I'm a member of a certified association, when I do their report, it will be emailed to them. They have pictures. Um, if it's something that I need to make a video, the video mm -hmm. will be attached to the report of me pointing out this particular problem mm -hmm. or recommendation. Um, you know, it's just going to give them a lot of good information about the property that they are potentially going to buy. Or if it's a seller, uh, I recently done, uh, or I recently did a um, pre-sale inspection, which is a home inspection for the person that's going to sell the home. Right. And they found out a lot of things they wanted to know because they wanted to correct these things before they ever got in the process of selling the home and uh, potentially head off litigation or liability they might have or after a, the sale. Or a lost sale. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Well, folks, this is the man, Bobby Phillips. If he can't give you a solution in these areas, uh, I don't know about anybody that can. Just go see your preacher. Uh, anyway. they, they need to go see him every now and yeah, then. Anyway. anyway. <laughs> Bobby, thank you for being on here with us. Appreciate it. Yes, sir. Thank, thank you, you for your business, too. I appreciate you. Y'all take care. We'll see you later.